Happy Sunday. It is time for our week eight NFL picks. And apparently I've been logged out of the website I use. Hello? That was really weird. Apparently not. All right, we are good, and it's time to start going over our picks. Now, on Thursday, I picked the Vikings to beat the Rams. Vikings didn't play well. Refs are great. And Merry Christmas. I'm 0-1 to start the week. So let's hope that today it gets better. Starting with our first game, we've got Baltimore at Cleveland. Cleveland got rid of one Predator at QB just to add another one that for some reason people are more okay with because Jameis is a goofy guy. Fuck Jameis. Browns are an awful organization because they keep employing shitty people at quarterback. Until DTR is the starter, I will not be picking the Browns. Give me the Ravens, who are, you know, a good team with an MVP front runner at quarterback and a decent defense and King Henry. And do I need to go on? Moving on, we've got the Colts at the Texans. I'm going to take the Texans at home. Colts, I don't trust them. I don't trust their quarterback. Their defense is iffy, and I don't love their weapons. Whereas the Texans have a great quarterback, a decent running game and a good defense with a head coach that we know we can trust unless it really gets into a time management situation. He doesn't have that entirely figured out yet, but I'm going to take the Texans and CJ Stroud. Then we've got the Packers at the Jaguars. As much as this feels like a trap game, the Jaguars decided not to take their bye week after London. That's probably not the smartest. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong, but either way, I'm going to take the Packers to march into Jacksonville and get the win. I hate doing that, but I'm taking the Packers. Then we've got the Titans at the Lions. I'm taking the Lions, man. I, I want the Titans to beat them so bad, but there's just no world. The Lions are better at every position, at every spot across the board. They're better coached. They have a real quarterback. I talk a lot of shit on Jared Goff, but he's still real in comparison to Will Levis or Mason Rudolph. Give me the Lions. Then we've got the Falcons at the Bucks. The Bucks are down their two best receivers. I don't much care. The Falcons couldn't beat the worst defense in football in Seattle. I don't think it gets better going against real defense. I don't trust their the, the Falcons defense to stop a nosebleed. And Baker is more than a nosebleed. Give me the Bucks. Then we've got the Jets at the Patriots. I'm taking the Jets. The Jets are the better team overall, even though they probably should have never got rid of Robert Sala. But that is neither here nor there. Give me the Jets. Next, we've got the Bears at the Commanders. I still don't know whether Jaden Daniels is playing or not. I still don't much care. The Bears have one of the best defenses in the NFL. The offense is rolling. Caleb Williams is great. The, the Commanders' defense sucks. So if Jaden Daniels isn't playing, they have no shot. If he is playing, it's going to be a shootout, and I'm still picking the Bears. Moving on from there, we've got the Cardinals at the Dolphins. The Dolphins are the most unserious franchise, maybe, in all of sports. Skylar Thompson and Tim Boyle being on your roster as quarterback options make you unserious. You know you have a quarterback with an injury history. And then, not only that, Mike McDaniel, you get these other quarterbacks in who you know cannot run an offense the way Tua is with all of the advanced reads and all of the things you require Tua to do, you get only backups who cannot do that, and then you don't alter your game plan at all. You try to force these guys to do that. Unserious organization, unserious coach. Give me the Cardinals who have a serious quarterback, a serious coach, and seem to be a serious organization. We've got the Saints at the Chargers. The Saints are maybe the most injured team in football. They're going through it. The Chargers have a real quarterback and a real head coach. That's all I need to know. Give me the Chargers. Then we've got Bills at Seahawks. I like Seattle. I like Geno. I think their offense is going to score, but their defense sucks, and Josh Allen's really good. Give me the Bills to go into Seattle and get a win. Then we've got the Eagles at the Bengals. I think this one's going to be a shootout. Neither defense is that good. So you're really just betting on an offense, and right now through these last few weeks, the better offense has been by far the Cincinnati Bengals. So give me the Bengals to win at home. Then we've got Chiefs at Raiders. I wanted to pick the Raiders. I wanted to pick the upset because the Chiefs have looked bad. The Raiders only beat the Chiefs on a holiday. So we're going to have to wait a couple weeks for the Raiders to get a win against the Chiefs. The Chiefs are going to move to 7-0 because the Raiders are an unserious franchise. Next, we've got the Panthers at the Broncos. 
Bryce Young is back. I want to take the Panthers, but the Broncos defense is too good with Pat Sertan in the lineup. I don't trust the Broncos offense to do much, but this Panthers defense sucks. Another game where the Broncos are going to get a win because of their defense. And too bad they don't have a serious coach or a serious quarterback. Cowboys at Niners. I think this game is ridiculous, but I'm going to take the Niners. I don't expect them to play that well, but Dallas is maybe the worst team in football. I don't know how they're three and three, but the Niners, you got to win this game because if you don't, you're on fraud watch and that's bad. Give me the Niners. Then we've got the Giants at the Steelers with Russ back against that defense. The Steelers are going to be cooking and keep cooking. Give me the Steelers. Let me know in the comments below who you've got for each of these games and make sure to come let me know when your team does exactly the opposite of what I say they'll do because that just seems to be how it works. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.